Howdy guys and welcome back. It's your boy Elio of course. Today's video was requested by Unix13 so shout out to him. Hope you're doing well and today we have the lovely lovely sea star. I'm gonna start off with the dark one. I definitely hope she returns at least sometime this year as a rebirth because I would love to pick up another dark one because when I first began the game and her first rebirth came around I found her to be extremely extremely useful and even to this day I mean I love her design and she is of course useful because you can't go wrong with aggressors, man. Especially a dark aggressor, you cannot go wrong. But let's check her out. So, Dark Sea Star is a defender. She has 31k HP, uh, 2k attack, and then uh, 2.9k defense. Stat wise, she is a defender. Her defense isn't anything crazy, but as a nat 4, it's pretty solid. And she's a dark type as well. So, I mean, you do get some benefit building her with crit because of her aggression, which obviously is she's a defense aggressor. So, the more defense that she has, the more damage she's going to do. While she's not there specifically for damage, it does help, especially with that added crit rate. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, her overall uses, you can get away with using her pretty much anywhere. Um, I would say everywhere except for Colossus though, because Colossus is about damage. And while she does do damage, it's not what you need. And the same thing for Titans. But PvP, she should be good to go. If you want to put her in your defense team, she should be fairly okay i mean not the best but fairly okay dark me hill would probably be a better choice because her stats are just higher and she's built slightly differently but pvp clan versus clan overall just a great mod especially if you need something in dragons where something that can sustain not itself but something that can sustain blows and deal blows this is a great pick so if you have one congratulations if you don't have one pray to the guys that you can get one because she is very very useful i mean if i had to rate her i would say she's probably a plus in terms of uses especially when you don't have that many aggressors or if you don't have any aggressors at all and where is the light one where is she at okay light sea star is a tank type coming in with 38k hp uh 2k attack and then basically 2k defense so again i mean nothing extraordinary but pretty solid stats again for a nat 4 pretty solid and remember all of these mods can, can be skill booked as well so keep that in mind um, and she has shock and attack down my only problem with her though is that she does require crit rate for her moves to work which kind of sucks so you have to kind of either build her on an intuition set to get her crit max or you have to devote a gem uh, of crit rate to her for her stats so her by herself isn't bad but it kind of sucks that we have to dedicate at very very minimum like a crit rate gem in order for her to do what she needs to do which again sucks i mean it is what it is but if you get the max crit on her she should be fine and again she's more pvp orientated more clan versus clan orientated her other uses not so much i would still say run dark sea star over anything else because her damage would be a lot better unfortunately and let's go over here to the grass one which I believe is only a 3 star. Yep, she's only a 3 star. The grass one has nearly 30, well, nearly 29k HP, 1.9k attack, and 1.7k defense. Stat wise, an abomination. Um, thirst, 60% chance. Defense down, 60% chance. Even if you book her up, her stats are just gag me with a machete. I can't recommend you using this because while you can use thirst probably in a pvp situation her stats are just far too low that she's going to get decked i mean that's pretty much it for that i don't think any of the rgbc stars are viable i think it's pretty much only the dark one and kind of the light one depending on where you are at in the game um the water one is a double sapper though and she's an attacker type coming in with 24k hp 2.4k attack and then 1.7k defense stat wise nat 3 okay i mean not perfect but okay and she has sap which again can be skill booked up but would i recommend this especially over someone like water miho which is a bit more easily farmable of course not of course not i wouldn't build this one either unless it's just for the astro guide because there's better choices out there, and we can also super evo Water Miho. Not saying you have to if you're running Water Miho, but you can get that additional 10% boost. And I believe her her um, stat percentages are just higher in general anyways, so 
it's not even worth the time. And then we have the Fire Sea Star. Uh, she's an attacker type coming in with 22k HP, 2.6k attack, and then 1.8k defense. Um, she actually has probably the best stats almost out of all of the RGB, which is kind of sad. I mean, not perfect, but she is a nat 3. It's okay. And she comes with fatigue and stun. So essentially another mon that I would build to Evo 3 and release because fatigue is useless. Fatigue is just useless. That needs to rework. And stun is great, but it's on your 5 star skill. And chances of her getting that built up before she dies or before it even matters. It's it's just a waste of time. It's a waste of time. But that's pretty much it for this review, you guys. Once again, shout out to Unix13 for this request. And quick side note, I will be streaming on, um, I believe it's a Wednesday, May 15th. Probably at about 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be doing Heroes Fest. So if you guys want to stop by. And I'll also be opening up some eggs, hopefully. So I can at least pull me one or two Dark Mihos. Hopefully praying to the gods. So definitely stop by and it shouldn't be too long of a stream I'm thinking maybe an hour hour and a half maybe two hours max, but definitely stop by if not You can always see you got see the video after it's done But um, as always guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out